Ladies and gentlemen, start your shovels. The 15th annual Hampton Beach Master Sand Sculpting Classic is off and carving. I think they're incredible. I, I can't believe that they can mold sand like this. And where the heck did they find people that can do this? Ten world-class competitors will be shaping nothing into something over three days with their focus on the $3,000 first prize. They are judged on three criteria, but organizers say the most important category is what they call the wow factor. Karen Fralick is a five-time world champion. The ability to make it look like that's impossible, that's what also makes a good sculpture. And if it makes you feel something, whether uh, hopefully good, <laughs> but if you're going for something dark, you know, maybe it makes you think about it and you walk away and you tell all your friends. So a lot of different elements. Imagination is what makes these piles of sand come to life, but the construction work is pretty basic. A couple of basic tools out of your, your kitchen, fork, knife, spoon, off you go. The key is the sand. This is just regular beach sand, which is round, and you can see it doesn't stick together. But this is special competition sand, trucked in for the event. It's flat, sticks together, and holds its form. These artists say things like kites and gravity are two of their biggest enemies. They can only work for a total of 24 hours, so time is also a problem. It's not clicking and you're struggling. You know, you don't really have time to get stuck in the sculpture. So the, the time pressure is what makes it incredibly difficult. The winner will be crowned on Saturday, so come on down and be amazed. In Hampton Beach, Andy Hirschberger, WMUR News 9.